Uh, I had a very poor qualifying today, so I started on the back. Um, somebody crashed into my back, broke the rear wing. There was a safety car, I came back, I was last. And then the, the safety car came uh, about lap 18. By that moment, when I did this, this stop, I thought that I could, after the safety car went out and I had a 25 second lead to the next car, when they exit the pits with half a, with a, half a race to go, I think I, I could have a fight for the win because I was roughly two seconds off uh, and there was 12, 12 laps remaining, uh, sorry, 14 laps remaining in that, in that moment. So I thought that was going to be tight, but I could have made it. But when, when the second safety car came, which I had much less energy than those guys, and then uh, I was inside the car and I, I actually went on the radio because the safety car came in and the car was moving already. So basically, on my head, I lost the race in that moment because I was not able to hold them up with the, with the amount of energy I had. And then, uh, luckily, I had Jerome behind me doing a little bit of hold up, just a little bit. Uh, and uh, I managed to open a gap and keep, uh, keep on just using regen, just like try to be as energy efficient as possible and just focusing on my race until the last uh, corner and then just celebrated like crazy. It was one of, for me, one, it was one of the best races of my life uh, in terms of how I drove the second stint, how energy efficient I had to be. So I'm very pleased. Well, I have uh, very mixed uh, emotions. Um, I think this win was ours, 100%. And uh, what Nambrosio did was totally unacceptable. Um, he just doesn't know how to defend. He you know, crashed so many times into me, forced me to go out of the track. Uh, so yeah, I lost a lot of, a lot of time. And um, that's, I wouldn't call it fair, uh, fair racing. So the marshals sometimes are very tough. And in here, uh, he pushed me three times off the track, touched uh, my wheels many times, and you know nothing happens. Change of direction many times. So, you know, very frustrated. Uh, but on the other hand, um, I'm here for the championship. Uh, we started very far away, but uh, I know uh, I'm in, in the right team. We got the right car uh, to go and win that championship. We still don't have the win, but you know, we coming back little bit by little bit in the championship, and uh, we're getting stronger every race. Is, uh, as a team, so um, yeah, I think now uh, that's what uh, this kind of result that we can expect every weekend from us. Good race for the TV. I think that for Formula E, a race like this is fantastic. You know, the emotion, the drama, lots of things going on, um, ups, downs, you don't know what's going to happen next. I think it's really good for the championship. I was happy with the move I pulled on Jerome. Um, I watched the battle between Jerome and uh, Jeff, and I was in the mix as well. And um, I mean, we were we were lapping slower, going flat out, pretty much, um, than we were in the beginning of the first in, because because of the defending. That's how Lucas was able just to just to keep pulling away. I mean, it must have you know must have been laughing in the car. Um, but the team uh, the team have done a, a good job. We struggled in FP2 and to come back with a third and a sixth place with, with Pachito is, is pretty strong.